Greetings, my fellow historians. Welcome to episode three of Parallel Lives. With this one, we'll talk about the parallels between Viserys I and Rhaegar Targaryen. The first clue was grandson of Jaehaerys Targaryen. In both cases, it turns out to be King Jaehaerys Targaryen. Viserys I was grandson of the old king, a.k.a. Jaehaerys I, and Rhaegar was the grandson of Jaehaerys II. Both were firstborn son and prince, but didn't marry a sister, which Targaryens often do. Rhaegar instead married Elia Martell, Viserys married Emma Arryn, and later Alicent Hightower. Both had kids with two women. Well, just pointed out that Viserys had kids with Emma and Alicent Hightower. Rhaegar, of course, had kids with Elia Martell and Lyanna Stark. Second relationship was strong contributor to civil war was our next clue. It was perceived that Rhaegar kidnapped Lyanna, leading to Brandon Stark heading to the Red Keep to demand that Rhaegar, quote, come out and die, which led to Ares having him brutally executed along with his father. Then he called for a bunch more heads, and John Aaron called his banners in response, and the rest is Robert's Rebellion history. In the case of Viserys, it's just as straightforward. The two halves of his family turned into the Blacks and the Greens, and that became the Dance of the Dragons. They both had sons named Aegon. Viserys had Aegon II, Rhaegar had boy Aegon that was killed by Gregor Clegane. If John's name was intended to be Aegon, then Rhaegar had a second son named Aegon. And Viserys, while didn't have two sons named Aegon, he did have a grandson named Aegon who was around at the same time. Recall, of course, there is Aegon the Elder and Aegon the Younger. I said they're both interested in prophecy. Technically, that's only true for show Viserys, but it's such a good, fun parallel I couldn't resist. In Rhaegar's case, Danny sees him in a vision talking about his newborn son, that his is the Song of Ice and Fire. Rhaegar's the only character to say Song of Ice and Fire in all of the five novels, except for Danny, who's only repeating him. Rhaegar read a prophecy and said it seems I must be a warrior. Rhaegar believed the prior comet was about him. And it should be mentioned, even though there's no reference to book Viserys having interest in prophecy, it doesn't seem like the in-world histories will record Rhaegar's interest in prophecy either. For example, look at The World of Ice and Fire, which is an in-world book written by a maester. There's no mention of his interest in prophecy, of the supernatural, let alone A Song of Ice and Fire, none of that stuff. So if Viserys was truly interested in prophecy in the books, it wouldn't be recorded either. Did you catch any parallels between these two characters that we missed? Let us know. If you like this episode of Parallel Lives or have a pairing you'd like us to consider, also let us know. The next pairing will be the title of the next episode as usual. And here come the clues. Knight and Lord, Black Cloak, One Eye, Lived in a Cave, Sitting on Roots, Commands Many Loyal Outlaws, Extended lifespan. Remember, there's two answers. Can you name both characters? Comment your guesses. We'll reveal and discuss the answers in the next episode of Parallel Lives. Catch you then.